We're here again at the lovely Zancudo Lodge in Costa Rica. Again, one of the best outfits in the world, not just this country. There's always a lot going on down in the marina on our docks. Every morning, boats are gassed up, ready to go. The fleet of contenders leaves all together at 6 a.m. right after breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. You get out of the river, you get into the bay, you've got mountain jungle on one side, you've got that open ocean on the other. You head out to Monte Palo, nice 30 minute ride to the open ocean, and then it's your day starts. fish all day, you get back, you get back to that dock. Again, that marina is lively with people. There's deckhands helping you off the boat, giving you fresh cold towels. There's guys cleaning fish. They're cleaning tuna for tonight's dinner. Seeing crocodiles eat the tuna carcasses right out of the water, off the dock. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable wildlife. Monkeys in the trees, macaws overhead flying. You could, you could spend an hour taking photos after fishing. Also, really important to us here is the food. We're really lucky, really bountiful country as far as fruits and vegetables go. We grow locally. Obviously, the fish we catch, we eat all the time. Last year, we started raising our own pigs. We raise them on coconut, plantain, and rice. Fat content is amazing. The texture is unbelievable. We're actually gonna roast one for our tournament this week. We're gonna roast it whole over fire on an asador Argentinian style. It's always hard to, to beat the fishing offshore. How do we continue to wow our clients and friends that come visit us? And we do that, I think, with the food. Every time they eat here, we change the menu twice a year. We're always trying to grow and evolve that menu, and nothing's more satisfying than when you see them eat dinner saying, that was the best tuna I ever had, that was the best chicken I ever had. So we have the best fishing in the world and some of the best food.